All right, Kenman here, and today we have the Sen Cut Neches, and we are doing die project number 54 with it. What do you think? You ready to go along for the ride? You have a knife that you want to do some custom work to, but you've never done it before? Wanted to see someone do a die project, how it all works? Well, we're going to do the whole thing, start to finish, tear down, die, reassembly. We're about to bear witness to it all. Let's go. Come along for the ride. Boom. I always set my table before I have a meal. <laughs> All right. So the Sun Cut Neches, we are going to do some custom uh, work to this today. I'm going to do a little dye on these micarta scales and then also do some weathering to it. So look forward to that. Let's get to it. Let's see if I can get this going without. All right, I did. It doesn't have a captive pivot on this one. So the one side wanted to spin kind of free. Oh, that already dropped out. Are these also? Oh, good on you, Sun Cut. The body screws are also T8s. That's pretty cool. I'm losing stuff. You got to be careful when you take a knife apart so you can pay attention and know how to get her back together. I've done a bunch of these. Pretty used to how knives are so I'm not too worried about this one this is a pretty simple design it's when you get into like button locks and different things where there's springs and stuff involved that you really gotta kinda pay attention Wow, we are good on that side boom 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 I'll go ahead and finish taking this apart get this pocket clip off of here Boom, boom. Anybody try a die project after watching some of these? Or is this the first one of mine you've seen? Um, comment below. Let me know uh, your success, failures, everything but in between. If you have any questions, need some advice or anything on how I do it. Uh, like I said, this is my 54th die project. I have a couple that are out in limbo that I haven't actually completed that I might get back to one of these days. <laughs> Let's hope. Um, but yeah, you can go back and watch the whole playlist or pick a few that you like that are interested in seeing how they end up and uh, have some fun with it. But okay, so we've got these two micarta scales with this nice kind of tannish brown color. We're going to bring it over to the uh, kitchen. I'm going to wash them, clean them up, although these look like they're pretty good. You want to make sure there's any oils or residues on there that might, <clears throat> excuse me, act as kind of a resist when you do the dye and you want I'm looking for a nice uniform color so all right we got these here let's go to the kitchen now Oosh. all right we are in the kitchen I've got them on these hooks we've got the dye all heated up and ready let's drop them in I'm gonna swish them around make sure there aren't any bubbles or anything if you got a bubble on there that's a spot that the dye does not take and I want a nice even coat on here and we are in just like that doing it so I've got this dye it's writ dye um, I've got about two ounces of the dye to maybe 20 24 ounces of the water in there I've got it heated up just under boiling and uh, the heat actually activates the dye helps it go a little bit quicker you can do a dye at room temperature with certain uh, techniques, but it takes a lot longer, a day or two, really, to soak in the color. If you want that color to go fast, you do it nice and hot, it'll work. Uh, we're going to be doing something kind of like this Kershaw, Kershaw Shuffle. You can see the lighter areas on the raised top where I did the dye, and then I sanded it down to kind of give it a two-tone. That is the plan with the one we're doing today. It's another little recent one I did, the uh, Civivi X1. The liners were already that cool green, so I did the purple to kind of offset that. Look at how cool that looks back here. Fun stuff. So dyeing knives can be really fun. This is a glide strike. This is the same blue that I'm using on here. It's going to be different because we started off with that brown. Just wanted to give an example of the blue that I'm using. And of course, obviously, the Civivi Vision FG, one of my early original ones, one of my favorite knives. 
showcase on the channel regularly did that in the red it's kind of starting to fade a little bit but i like it. it's weathered in gets used great knife okay let's check this out see how we're doing i think we're going to be good already boom drop it in there i'm turning the heat off moving these over and out of the way um because we're going to do a sanding technique on here today um i don't want to put these i didn't want to leave them in for too terribly long i wanted to kind of change the color but i also want it not to be so deep that when uh, we go do the sanding that it's going to require a lot more sanding to get down to the layer that doesn't have the dye on it and so here we are interesting tone kind of ended us on this kind of grayish blue it kind of almost has a highlight of a, like a purple the way it kind of mixed Whoop. I'm losing stuff but yeah so these are micarta so i really got to dry them off really good um, to see where we're at they're going to look different when they're dry than they do right now when they're wet once they're dry we're going to sand them down see where we're at if we want to go back in or uh sand them some more or whatever so we're going to go to the table start sanding once these get dry and okay here we are back at the table got a nice kind of a blue now that they've dried out they definitely turned a little more blue kind of a gray charcoal -y kind of a dull blue but that brownish maroon is underneath there so we're going to do some sanding and uh see what we can reveal do a little bit of a weathering technique here so i'm going to do a little time lapse of that so you can just kind of watch it go fairly quick rather than me sitting here sanding for 10 minutes so we're going to do that now here we go ready Okay, I've got them kind of beat up. There's definitely some good edge color coming through. Now I'm going to get them all wet, wipe them off, wash them up, get them the dust off, or get them, get all the dust off of them, and see where we're at. See if I need to sand any more, or if we're ready to go. So let's get to the next one, and we'll we'll be rinsed off and see where they are. Boom! All right, they're dry. That's what color we got them to. That darker kind of blue. And after the sanding, the weathering, oh, I'm pretty excited about it. I think it turned out good. Let's put it back together. Do we enjoy these uh, fun little customizations? Hit the like button and subscribe if you would like to see more. Okay. There is a time when you pay attention and prep yourself beforehand and of course I did not do any of that this is interesting because there's nothing that's really holding this together and there is no captive pivot all right, so let's see the smartest way to try to do this. I, uh, heh, here we go. It begins. What can I assemble and have fall apart more than five times? Um, yeah, a lot of times I will go in and plan it out, make sure I know what I'm doing, and of course this time I, uh, <laughs> yeah, here we are. We're fine. We're going to do it. It's cool the stop pin on the blade. It's actually on the blade and it catches in that groove there. Interesting little design. 
wait the okay so it was open end of the bearings go to the blade always try to put it together the same way it came apart sometimes it may not matter but I figure do it the same way they did it it's probably the best okay this is tough because it's sandwiched and there's no um, it's not, it's not like recessed or the liners don't uh, drop into the scales at all so it's just kind of a big sandwich right here so it's gonna got to hold it together all right I'm not gonna totally crank it down but I just got that pivot on there just enough to kind of secure everything we got to be careful about centering it's nice that these are all t8s though Ooh, this weathering job looks cool it looks like an old pair of jeans or or something all right so on the lefty clip goes on this side here which means i can just put this one on here quick Ooh, I like the way the edges turned out. Like I said, when I was sanding it there, it's wet. You can't really see exactly how much sanding. I It ended up losing, removing a lot more blue than I was planning on initially. Sometimes I like to start off subtle because you can always go back and take off more. But once you've taken off so much, you can't put it back on. You'd have to re-dye the whole thing and then that changes it up a little bit um, and so usually I try to go less aggressive initially not too heavy of a sandpaper and kind of see where we are and then you can go back in and and do some more touch-ups but in this case I uh, it came off pretty quick so it, I don't know I think it looks great okay so non-captive pivot let's see how well I can tighten this down pretty good Sometimes when you tighten it, it has enough pressure. You can see the blade is over that way a little bit, which is good because then when we loosen it back up, it should drop back to center. All right, let's get all these nice and tight. Oh, I had that one pretty loose still. Boom. Okay. Excellent. We'll go back and check these pocket clip. Because they're so close, when you do one, I always like to go back and forth a couple times. You'd be surprised when they're so close. It just relieves a little bit of pressure. Okay, so now we'll just loosen this just a little. Boom, we want it to be solid when it's open. Alright, we are there. Drop shut. We've done it. Die project number 54, send cut Nietzsche's, Nietzsche's with a custom Kenman weather die. What do we think? Let's get some close ups. You can see those edges where the original color is kind of shining through. Tried to hit the, the pivot a little more, give it a little more kind of weathering and wear in certain areas tell me what you think make comments too much not enough Ooh, I like it I think it turned out good this was kinda where I was going wanted it to have a nice blue and then get that edge and some of these inconsistent little wear marks in it got a little bit around the the screws maybe could almost hit it a little bit more on some of those screws really worn section right there and then a little darker right here because it's kind of protected by the uh, pocket clip you got to make up some stories when you do weathering you kind of create your own kind of ideas and like okay so this, this is brand new but it's kind of making it look like maybe it's someone's owned it for years and there was one time they had to pry this thing open and it put a little chip in it right there or whatever and each little Mark tells its story of its life, and we're just kind of doing a cheat. <laughs> cheat code, aged. <laughs> I like it. I think it turned out good. More of these coming soon. Die project number 54 in the books. This Zencut Nietzsche's 
more stuff to come. Check out a couple videos up there. Stay sharp. I'll see you soon.